In what universe am I seeing a car as cool as this and leaving it to linger on the hard drive for five years now? Yeah, nah, I didn't forget about it, but there's the bit of struggle and I'll explain that a bit later. Also, don't be thinking this is a Datsun 120Y because if it were a Datsun 120Y, it wouldn't have this under the bonnet now, would it? Single overhead cam, L-series engine, 1400ccs, and I'll talk about that too. As it glides by as graceful as any car can, I want you to consider something, and that is that the B210 generation of Sunny was seen as a design dud, and this was reflected in sales. It's also reflected in the fact that to this day, you hardly ever see the 210 Sunny or Sunny Excellent as we have here today at car shows. Hardly ever see them rusting out in fields everywhere, which is a, a good thing. So, am I just way off in my thinking? Are you not surprised? I, I think you are. And I will say this disconnect is present with other vehicles. For example, the RA40 Celica, as much as this car is loved outside of Japan. Certainly it's loved in Southeast Queensland, and shout out to everyone down there. But uh, yeah, in Japan, very, very difficult to come across. I've seen a couple of nice ones, and uh, fingers crossed there'll be a video one day when the stars align. And just on the off chance you're new here, my name is Daniel O'Grady and I've been in Japan since 2001 and for the last 10, 11 years or so I've been driving around mainly Kyushu looking for old rusty cars and certainly in more recent years I've been getting my fix of old cars from car shows because the countryside is being scoured for scrap metal, it's a sad situation and I have had comments from people wishing to see some more wasabi cars, more Japan rust cars. And I would suggest using the search function on the channel or just scroll through the videos that I've done because no doubt there's going to be some surprises in there that we've all forgotten about. Ah, was I not suggesting that this is not your average 120Y because of that engine? Well, there's a whole bunch of other differences about this car and check out the sheet metal for example. What do you see? Does that look like your Datsun 120Y? Check out the bonnet there. Check out the front guards there. Yeah, there's quite a few differences between your Garden Variety Sunny and this one right here. And I believe, were these not also sold in South Africa? 140Z, 160Z or something like that. Yeah, I'm not South African, I don't know. But I've seen a couple pictures online and I even saw that one had been exported and into Australia. And speaking of Australia, big news people. Oh my lord, and I know we're here to talk about the Datsun, but just give me a second. I'm going to be in Sydney and fingers crossed Brisbane in July, August. So if you want to have a chinwag, say hey at maybe a car show or I'm going to be dropping into Barrel Brothers, but I don't know exactly when. Yeah, loose plans in Australia, but I'm there for family. Uh, the cars are a bonus, but if we can meet up, hey, say hey. Ah, my friend, the wind. Literally why I'm sitting here narrating in my room on a glorious Saturday afternoon. But people, how is the aesthetic of this thing? Incredible, deep, dark, olive green, splotchy. I'm loving it. Black wheels, SSR Mark IIs out the back. Steel is up the front, look to be widened. Looks incredible. I want to do that, you know, like the, the bellissimo, the hand thing when like this to the chef, like, hey, that was delicious. Yeah, this is tasty. Yeah, I say we get to the interior because it is a thing of beauty. Brown. How 1970s is this, people? Uh, looks to be in fantastic condition, does it not? Ferrari steering wheel, horn button. He's gone the waggle with like some sort of epic shifter knob. It's incredible. Uh, but yeah, the cloth, the, 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 the trim on the seats, like vinyl and cloth and beautiful rich sort of a reddish brown just stunning beautiful condition and eagle eyes do you see the dash oops door cards are good yeah 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 reminds me of an old sofa we had in holsworthy back in the 70s uh, but yeah it's got all the gauges people apparently this is the one and the floor carpet oh geez so good uh, I love the shape of the seats they look super comfy they remind me of some plastic models of some Mopars back in the day for some reason what? I hear you exclaim. Yes, a Watana Bear wheel out the back. It's got the mark. And uh, speaking of what, what, <laughs> what can I say? I did mention some bitter thing earlier, and there's no way 
I can tackle it here, I now realize because I have recorded and deleted many narrations for many, many minutes. So, forgive me, people. But I will say, living long term in the society that is not the one you were born into is a real challenge. Day in, day out, you see people following nonsensical rules based on arbitrary notions. Then you realize that's exactly what you were doing back home. Oops, almost got a bit thinky thinky there. <laughs> Sorry for that. You know, I always wanted to get back to the engine because this one has the single carburetor, which can I just say is kind of normal, but there was another one. And if you went through the older videos, you might see this amazing blue one with twin factory carburetor setup. Pretty, pretty cool. And can I say that this is yet another example of the amazing cars that are in the Wasabi Cars archives. There are just so many incredible memories and amazing cars that I've seen over the years. And I kid you not, I need to get this video finished and uploaded. It's 7 p.m. at night. Time for me to go, everyone. Love is all. Take it easy and goodbye.